Peter Allender was denied bail despite pleas from his legal team that he be freed on health grounds. He faces a minimum sentence of 10 years in prison. On our part, we thought on medical grounds at least uh, he could um, probably be released on some conditions. So we are, um, well, he was denied uh, the request for, for release for bail. And uh, the order was that he would be in custody for 30 days pending further investigation. Alinda went to Rwanda to defend outspoken opposition presidential candidate Victor Ingabire, head of the United Democratic Forces Movement. She was arrested under accusations of genocide denial and belonging to a terrorist organization in April and released on bail. There is no justice in Rwanda. There are no democracy in Rwanda. People are not free to say what they think. Because if they are freedom, Peter will not be in the jail because he said that they are killing in Rwanda. If the government of Kagame have the problem with what he said, they have to accept the debate. We have to talk about what happened in Rwanda in 1994. Alinda is a law professor in the United States and has acted as lead defense defense counsel for top genocide suspects at the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda in Arusha, Tanzania. In April, he filed a lawsuit in the United States against President Paul Kagame on behalf of the wives of the former leaders of Rwanda and Burundi who died in a plane crash in April 1994, triggering a 100-day massacre in Rwanda. The lawsuit accused Kagame of ordering the shooting down of the plane carrying the two leaders. A Rwandan probe last year pinned the killing on the former Rwandan president's own troops. Last week, the United States called for Allender's release on compassionate grounds because he had complained of panic attacks and had problems that required treatment at home.